I measure things out, she doesn't. Half a stick of butter. That was not graceful. And a half a cup of peanut butter. And one egg. There we go. They're not a new fad. The recipe they call accidentally gluten-free was passed down to Melissa Blue by her mother-in-law. This family-loved recipe has no gluten in it. It's naturally gluten-free. Yeah, there was no flour. When she saw a need for this type of sweet, she called on her bestie of 30 years, also named Melissa, and Melly's cookies came to life. Now we are in, you know, nationwide in the top three retailers in over 7,000 stores. Good. But it took a lot of growing to get there. There's been days that we're like, what are we doing? How, how is this, you know, how are we going to make it? Now they want Melly's cookies to become a household name. And since they know a thing or two about starting a business from scratch, they're helping other female entrepreneurs. I think that's the most fun thing because I w we were so appreciative of the mentors that helped us. You don't even know how to thank them enough. It's just really fun to think, wow, we're in a place where we've learned enough that we could even tell someone or help someone. It's yeah. really exciting. One piece of advice that's helped them, you don't have to share a name, but have a buddy. We definitely balance one another. Well, I'm like, can't do this. And she's like, I got this today. Melissa and Melissa, baking a difference for women everywhere.